On today's episode, we're going to talk about email blast, how to store old film, and Christmas plans. Hello and welcome to episode 89 of Tip for Tip, where you ask your marketing question in exchange for a tip in your industry. My name is Aaron. And my name is Christian. Today, we have Lance Gray from Action Video Service. So is there a day or time of day that's best to send an email campaign? Or more importantly, is there a day or time of day that you just don't even want to consider because it's just not going to be seen or people are just going to ignore that email campaign? All right, Lance, so this is kind of a trick question-ish. Um, so Tuesdays and Saturdays really are the best days, but that can be skewed because the open rates don't really um, change much. For example, you know, if you have a 15 to 20% open rate, Tuesdays and Saturdays may have a 16% or 21%, so it's not a huge percentage um, unless you get into large numbers as far as the amount of contacts that you have. But most people have 500 or less contacts for their, for their database, so it's not gonna make a huge difference. As far as days that do not work, Sundays really aren't a very good, is that what you had to? Yeah. So Sundays are not really a good one, um, but you, I, I look at that as a caveat, is like the ones who do open on Sunday, they're pretty dedicated. And one last tidbit would to say that uh, days don't matter as much as I think as the placement of what you're putting out. So like education more in the beginning of the week and if you're going for like a sales or an offer towards the end of the week. What do you yeah, got? That's very good insight. I, I mean, I was going to say the same thing. Uh, Tuesdays, actually Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays are usually, you know, some of the best days to do it. And I feel like a few years ago, people were saying, oh, do it on Monday because mm -hmm. it's the first day of the week. That's when people get to their offices and they're checking their email. Right. Uh, but that sort of shifted to kind of like the middle of the week. Um, and Saturday, like Aaron's saying, it's pretty important. Uh, as far as timing, uh, I don't think you hit on that, right? No, no timing. Uh, but, I mean, timing, you do want to do it sort of early in the morning. Uh, either that or afternoon, so 2 o'clock. So either 9 a.m., 10 a.m., or around 2 o'clock. Um, it's usually when people are most active in their computers, their cell phones, or, you know, looking at uh, their cell phones. And you can also think about maybe even during lunch. Uh, people might be going through their phones, eating their lunch. Um, you can hit them with those emails. Again, I think this all goes back to testing. Yes, I was going to say the exact same thing. And yes. going down to your list and seeing you know, who's opening at what time, uh, and then determine based on your list uh, the best times and days to post or to send an email. Good. Mm -hmm. All right, let's hear your tip for us. Whether a client has already had their films and videos transferred to DVD or digital files, or they're waiting to, one of the questions we get asked most often is, where is the best place to store these items? So I can tell you that extreme heat is the enemy of all of your media. So the last place you wanna keep it is in a hot garage or an even hotter attic. Go ahead and bring those items inside and put them in some place like a closet where it's dark, cool, and dry, and that should be the best place to store your media for safekeeping. That's a great tip. And technically, when I was living back in Puerto Rico, we don't really have attics or basements. Really? Yeah, so it was impossible to ruin your old film. All right, so Puerto Ricans are maybe not your, uh, or they're maybe your best uh, clients. <laughs> but actually, so my parents, I don't know why they did this, but we they bought a storage unit. They've since got written, gotten rid of it, but it they put movies and stuff in there, and they lost, they didn't lose much, but they did lose some film, like, you know, maybe 10 minutes worth of videos because they put it in a storage shed. So maybe that needs to be added to it as well. But I know that heat is very bad for movies now. <laughs> All right, and today's question of the day, we want to know what are you doing for Christmas or the holidays? Lance, thank you again for coming on our show. And if you're a small business owner and would like to be on Tip for Tip, all you have to do is go to bitbranding.co forward slash tip for tip. See you next week.